everybody, Clever 18 here today with a vlog. Decorate your room with this handmade wall decal of the evolution of the Lego minifigure. These decals from Be A Creative Designer look great and come in a large variety of colors and sizes. Check the link in the description to learn more, as well as don't forget to watch the review video I've made of this decal. Subscribe to Clever 18 for more daily Lego videos. So today I'm filming this vlog on Wednesday, I believe the 3rd of February. You're going to be watching this on Tuesday, the 9th of February. So let's get started. So here's like a brief schedule of what's coming in February of 2016. I just finished filming this video, this video, haven't done that video, finished that video, edited that video, haven't done that, filmed that, filming this, Broken Lego. Oh, have to film that. Film that. And then, like, I'm trying to, as you can see, I'm trying to film a lot of things, and then I leave the editing until very last minute. And I've also started on March's video schedule. So I'm really trying to get organized here. As you can see, I've made these now calendars, like, front and center of my Lego room. They used to be up there, and I'd never look at them. But now that they're there, I hope to look at them more. Over here, I'm just going to talk about the green screen a little. So, this is just Bristol board actually, but I've been doing a lot of green screen work lately, and I really like doing green screen work, like it's a lot of fun. What I've been doing is like B-roll sort of thing, like I'd be do filming a review of a set, and then I'll put the set in front of the green screen, and you'll put that as a backdrop, or the city as a backdrop, and it just looks really nice. I wonder what backdrop I'm going to put in here right now during editing. Ooh, what is it? I don't know. I'll have to decide. I actually moved my monitor from there, from here, actually, to there, mainly because I am, I just bought a thing on Amazon or eBay that's gonna cut, that's RGA, so it's gonna plug into the RGA cable and plug into the HDMI cable. So when I'm filming, like what's on my monitor that you can't see right now, even though I'm trying to point it at it, it will be on the computer screen. So that's gonna be very helpful for like when my camera is here on the tripod. So my camera's on the tripod, you know, like, here's the Lego set, blah, 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 but I'll be able to see it on the computer screen, and that's just going to be very helpful for me and more productive because I'll see what's going on because sometimes my camera monitor is actually hard to see because of all the lighting in the room, so I hope this will work out. What I've also done is got rid of the computer that was there. I have that over here right now, but it's not even being used as a computer, just as storage for my Bricklink store. And then with the computer gone there, it actually opens up that area. It's just so much more like it feels like a less like cramped room. So I have a light stand here and a light here. This light actually goes here and that light goes there. But I was filming this decal video because as you saw at the start of this video, there was an advertisement for this decal. This company has purchased, I think, 10 advertisements. 10, yeah, 10 advertisements for this decal. So if you see the advertisement and then the link will be in the description below it really helps me out if you go just check out their store you mean and then you might buy something but you don't even have to buy something it just helps me so much if you go check out their store because that way they see that I am actually sending traffic like I'm supposed to be to their shop and then it'll want them to advertise more here on Clever 18 and then it'll just help me produce higher quality videos for you to watch so if you're watching this now please go check out the link in the description below just so you can see what you know what they have to offer and help support my channel because I got rid of the computer, what I've done is I actually put my old laptop there. I started Bricklever 18 on this laptop and I used it to edit until late 2015 when it, like, died. It hasn't completely died yet, but it's so slow. Like, today I'm trying to watch, a sh like, a show because I temporarily have the RGA hooked up to that monitor still. I'm trying to watch a show and it just kept pausing and freezing and the volume was going up and down. It was really weird. I think the volume was a program, Windows Media Player or something like that. But it's just, it's dying, and I'm glad I'm not doing any more video on it, because I had a feeling if I would have continued to do video editing on it, it would have been dead already. My Mac works so much more for that. Another cool thing I'm happy that I did, was I put the scale in this bin now, and I don't know why I'm so excited for it, but it used to be over there, and I have to move it onto the desk every time I wanted to like weigh an order. But now with it over here, I just open up, turn it on, weigh, and it's all good. I mean, I have one order ready to go, and I just parted out, I guess I already put the box away, but I just parted out one copy of the Minecraft The End set. 
I got that on Kijiji for only $30, which is a pretty good deal considering it was a $45 set. So I'm pretty happy that I got that and now I parted it out. So you're watching this on the Tuesday. This is the very, I'm filming this on Wednesday. This is the very last day of my, you know, vacation sort of from big school. I got a lot done. I didn't have a ton of videos filmed because I spent a lot of Monday finishing up the city and then doing that video that took a lot longer than I thought it would be actually. But I'm really happy the city update got up. It got up late because I was uploading it in 4K video and it just took forever. But now that that's the other thing, my channel now is all 4K video so that's very exciting because 4K is, I love 4K. My internet doesn't even support 4K to watch on YouTube like it freezes too much but it looks really good in the moment it's frozen because you know when YouTube freezes their video they reduce the quality at least for me anyway even with the reduced quality the 4k looks great so I'm really excited that everything's 4k now I showed this in another video but I really reorganized it and I kind of wanted to show you I am a hoarder and like to keep every single Lego package that I ever get as you can see all those boxes either came with stuff I purchased or product or give like that was a giveaway from a fall man that green thing and this whole bin of bubble mailers this is all things I have been given or sent or have purchased. So I don't know, I just think that's really cool looking at that underneath my desk. So I'm just waiting for my eBay package with this HDMI like converter. So excited to get that. I think that'll be really awesome and I'll probably do another vlog when that does come. Another thing you probably have been noticing in my videos a lot now is the white backdrop. So I purchased a new white piece of Bristol board and I have been set just for certain videos I have been setting it up using the white, taking it down, then using the green screen and sometimes even using the black and white. So so far in some videos I have had three different backdrops and you know what I think it adds a nice mix to my videos and it switches it up a little and it gives the viewer the opportunity to look at something a little different. Okay so I think that'll be it for my vlog, seven minutes which is a lot and I won't be editing it down so you're because like vlogs are like raw but I think it's really cool so don't forget to check out this in the description below I'll be editing a lot of videos because I filmed a lot of videos and I have a lot of exciting things coming oh another thing I'd like to add and this was actually completely my grandpa's idea when I was going on about how stupid some people well, not stupid but how annoying some people can be in the Lego community not even like fellow youtubers or fellow people that I know just want I had an annoying seller who was trying to sell me something but kept changing the prices and I had a I have a post office lady who continually marks the wrong like post office prices and it's all been very annoying so I'm telling them the stories and they're getting a good laugh out of it and he's like you should do you should write up uh, one of those things on the internet where you write about your funny stories I'm like like a blog and he's like yeah I'm like oh that is a not bad idea but then I'm like why would I write a blog when I have a YouTube channel where I can tell these funny stories or these stories that happen to me in the Lego world. So I think that's what I'll be doing. So look for that. I'm going to be designing like a little story time set. And I have actually a whole list of stories that I would like to tell in Lego. Look at it. It's a little business card. So I'm really excited for that and I'm looking forward to it. The final thing I'm going to show you in this 8 minute video is this shelf. Look how better. Look how much better that sorry that looks now that the monitor's gone. Okay, this time I'm really gonna wrap it up for good. It's eight minutes and twenty seconds right now. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Have a great day. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs like this in the future.